Hello everyone, welcome to 360 Degrees Excellence, where we believe everyone can achieve all-round success. Today I'll be sharing with you what I've titled, Hope for Africa. Let me tell you how I came up with this episode. I think um, last month, late last month, a Christian sister, uh, Ms. Adiola Kintoye, uh, sent a WhatsApp message to me that I should write and do a, a short video clip and share my hope for Africa in less than 30 seconds. And after some time, I came up with my hope for Africa and I did send it to her. She wanted to use it for a leadership program she was organizing. And after doing that, I just said, let me just share with you guys what I sent to her. Uh, but before I share with you what I sent to her, I want to tell you about strengths that Africa, our great continent has. Uh, number one, 60% of arable land is in Africa. So we have the potential to be the food basket of the world. There are others like our young population. We are the youngest population. We are the youngest continent in the world. Our women are enterprising. Uh, I'm going to just go over them and just read them to you. Or, or also, I'm also going to talk about the free trade agreement that uh, EU just uh, uh, signed within the 54 countries in Africa. If implemented well, can actually lead to economic prosperity. Let me just read to you some. Uh, strengths that I believe uh, our continent has. Number one, 60% of arable land is in Africa. It has billions of dollars in investment potential. Like I said, we have the potential to be the full basket of the world. Africa has the youngest population in the world. Uh, Sub-Saharan Africa leads, in the, leads the world in mobile take-up. Uh, I also said something the other time about the free trade agreement. Uh, if it implemented well, it will aid economic prosperity in Africa. Uh, Sub-Saharan Africa has the highest rate of female entrepreneurship globally, with approximately 26% of female adults engaged in entrepreneurial activity. Uh, another one is African biodiversity. Our continent is filled with an amazingly diverse collection of plants and animal life. The continent is home to more than 50,000 known plant species, 1,000 mama species, and 1,500 bird species. Then the last one I want to share with you today is Africa's 54 countries now include seven of the world's fastest growing economies. I even read an article by Bloomberg about how even the this pandemic is even an advantage for Africa. You can see compared to all other continents, uh, Africa has not been affected. Instead, we have a lot of uh, opportunities However, we need to strengthen our democracy and we need good governance. Remember what happened in Nigeria? The young people came out, they said uh, they wanted good governance and they wanted end to police brutality. And I believe our leaders should listen to them. Le leaders in Africa should lead listen to them. You know, and also we must ensure we strengthen democracy. It's only Mauritius that has been classified as having a true democracy. About eight countries, are classified to a flawed democracy and um, majority of African countries are uh, classified to have uh, hybrid democracy or authoritarian uh, you know so we really need to really work on that uh, I believe Africa has great potential I'm bullish on Africa let me quickly share with you what I sent to sister Diola uh, the founder of we can leadership and also uh, international director for Greenpeace uh, but I also want to hear your view about your hope for Africa. I want you to share with me what do you believe will happen in Africa. Say good things about Africa. Recently, I started, you know, an initiative called Love Africa. I was telling people say good things about Africa. Hope for hope 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 in Africa. Pray for Africa. You know, the future is bright for Africa. Uh, God bless you. Bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Tosin Badeni. My hope for Africa is that she will be a continent with amazing opportunities for her children and youths to reach their full potential.
God bless Africa.